day trading this morning, going over the one trade that I made this morning, making over $500 in less than 10 minutes. I'm going to show you the entry. I'm going to show you the exit. I'm showing you the real time trades here. This trade on VKTX this morning, talking about how I found it, really break it down for you guys today. But overall, this is actually a picture perfect setup, bouncing off that support. And all I needed to do was look at trade ideas, see what stocks were hot this morning, what stocks were gapping up pre-market. I took a look at trade ideas. I saw what stocks were moving. I looked at the chart. I identified the support, the resistance, and then I took the trade. And I ended up walking away with over $500 in less than 10 minutes. The way that I traded this is simple. It's easy. I'm buying off the support and I'm taking profit into the resistance. Really simple and easy. I think this is a perfect example for anybody out there who is like, man, I just can't figure this out. What am I doing wrong? This is a perfect example when you get that beautiful support bounce, how easy it is to make money on this setup. I'm going to show you guys the live trade here in a second. So make sure you stay tuned. Looking here at VKTX, see if we can bounce off this $22 area again. You can see previously bouncing there of $22. So I'm looking to see if we can pull down there right at that $22 and then bounce one more time here. See if this will push back up there and for a little bit lower see if it'll bounce and i'm gonna jump in there at 22.15 now looking for this to push back up there beautifully bouncing off that 20 dollars bouncing off that 22 dollars there looking for this to push back up there towards 23 dollars now giving it a little bit of time a little bit of volatility there pushing back up there above 22.50 Looking for a little bit more here. The high in this candle is 2270. Looking for a push over that 2250. There's 2260. Looking for a little bit more. 2270s. Let's see if I can get half filled there. 2265. Looking like it wants to push here. I want to see this push back up there at $23. I want to get some fill there. 26. 2266. Look for a little bit push. Push up there towards that $23 now. There's that $22.76 now on the bid. Let's see. This thing wants to, it wants to over $23 here. Over $23. Come on, baby. I'm going to get another $250 sold there at $22.90. So there's that push. Some resistance there at $23. Let's see if we can get that push over $23 here. Now we're getting through, pushing up there towards 23 hard. A little bit of a pullback there. Going to give it some time here. I think this thing wants to get back over 23. There's a battle going on right here at $23 now. <clears throat> I got 250 shares left there. Look for us to push. I'm going to take the rest there at 22.75 just to lock it down. And look at that green, baby. Up 500 and making $592 there off VKTX just by buying the dip. You guys saw my entry. You saw my exit. All I was doing was looking to buy off this bounce there and was just watching the time and sales, watching as the stock was pulling back down there. You can see on the five minute chart this thing gapping up big on news this morning. I think they had some clinical trial news that ended up being pretty good. The stock is up over 100%. Uh, the stock is up over 100%. Look at the daily chart here. Gapping up there from ten dollars above twenty, to above twenty dollars, all the way up there to twenty nine dollars this morning. Twenty nine dollars is the high pre market. Pretty crazy to see that big of a gap up over one hundred and twenty percent right now. Trying to push up towards that, trying to push above that twenty three dollar resistance. Looking like it wants to go through here now. All I was doing there was buying that bottom of the wave there. Look how nicely this stock. You got this big wave, it pulls back, it finds support there, a little bit of a bounce up, the top of this wave. If you wanted to short there, you could have shorted. I was actually thinking about shorting there at $23, looking for that pullback down there to $22. So then I was looking at it like, all right, let me see if this thing can find some support there at that $22 area. And that's exactly what we got, that push from $22 up there to $23. I, the bottom of this candle was $2209. And I got filled there at 22.15, so I can't complain. That's pretty good, pretty good entry there. We'll see if this can. We'll see if this can push back above 23 now. Uh, just that resistance holding it down there, and we'll see later on. But I think, honestly, I think I'm gonna be done for the day for a couple of different reasons because I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine with just walking away. 
uh, and not complaining, making close to $600 in less than, what was that? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine minutes in less than 10 minutes. So not bad at all there. Looking like it just wants to push above 23 now. If I had a little bit more patience, which I normally never do have any patience with these types of stocks. But overall, man, it's not bad. Getting over, you know, getting a 50, 60 cent move there on this before the market even opens. Not bad. Not bad way to start the day. And the best part about this is how easy it was. Look at this. So there's my trade ideas gapper scanner popping up there, showing VKTX on the top of the list there. It's up over 124% all the information that I need. So basically all I'm doing is I'm waking up, I'm checking trade ideas, seeing what's going on, and then I'm making my plan, looking at different stocks. VKTX was definitely on top of the list this morning. NIO, I'm keeping an eye on this one, but I'm probably not gonna touch it. At this point, it's just all over the place. And then they had the stock here, PSDO, not enough volume really to do anything. So, so I ended up just taking a look closer at VKTX, looking at this one minute chart, seeing that support there. On the five minute chart, again, we're looking at the wave, getting the top of that wave, pulling back to that previous support there. Look, it bounced there this morning off $22. So we got that nice little wave pulling back. This little bit of a drop there, not sure why it dropped just like that. I think that was just kind of a flush there, maybe, and it bounced right back. But look at that beautifully. If I had more patience on this, I could probably, you could, if I had more patience, I could probably hold this thing. And maybe we'll see $25, $26 there at open. Uh, you got 4.8 million shares traded. But one of my faults is that I'm just not very patient uh, when it comes to holding these types of stocks. Making $500 in 10 minutes, I can't complain. I used to work an entire week, 40 hours a week, just to make $400 on the roof back in the day working construction. So I'm not going to complain about making $500 in less than 10 minutes this morning. And I showed you guys my entry, I showed you guys my thought process, but really the key here was just identifying that support. Very important. When you're looking at these charts, identify the support areas. Simple, easy, look at that. All you gotta do is just look at the chart. This wasn't rocket science. I didn't use any crazy formula or mathematical equation. All I was doing was looking at the five minute chart, looking at the daily chart, and looking at the overall bigger picture and seeing that we touched off that 22 before, we bounced, that's all I was looking for, that bounce off that $22 support. Beautiful, right up there to $23. Buying the dip there, perfect time. Just waiting for the stock to slow down. I know people are always like, how do you know when the stock's gonna reverse? What I'm looking for is that support area. And once the stock gets close to that support area, I wanna see selling, 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 and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, it's starting to slow down. Once I see the time and sales slowing down, once I see that stock just slowly coming down, I see the buyer stepping up. I see some green on time and sales. And then I'm like, all right, this is a good spot. I'm going to jump in here. I jumped in there at 22.15. It could have pulled down a little bit lower. You can see the bottom of these candles there at the 22. You can see the bottom of these candles there at 22. So overall, I was risking 15 cents. My stop loss was there at that $22 area. So if I was getting in there and the stock pulled back, what would I have done? I would have watched that $22 area like a hawk. You know, that $22 area didn't hold, then I would have ended up cutting off there at that support if it would have broke through that support. Because looking at the five minute, we can see we don't really know where the next support is. I definitely don't want to put my stop down there at $18. And VKTX, really just beautiful. There's no better way to trade than to wake up, look at what's hot, look at what's going on pre market, and then make a plan, execute the plan, take the profit, and walk away. I'm going to go handle some business today. But I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not going to complain, like I said. So if you guys haven't already, do me one big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below. What stocks did you trade today? And I'll talk to you guys later on. <laughs>